if you are experiencing a gripper clamp sensor timeout error 002 or 003, follow these steps. It indicates the gripper finger is not closing and opening properly. Two people are required for this procedure. Before any maintenance is performed on the blade, verify that all safety mechanisms are in place and follow your facility's policies for lockout tagout and troubleshooting with live power. With the saw blade motor off, clear the error and switch the saw to manual mode. The first step is to ensure the gripper clamp arm, sometimes called gripper finger, opens and closes smoothly. Make sure personnel are clear of the gripper and press the clamp status indicator on the blade home screen. This will open the clamp menu. From there, press the gripper clamp, gripper unclamp button to open or close the gripper. Verify that the gripper clamp arm is opening and closing smoothly. If it is not, remove obstructions and clean the gripper finger. If the gripper clamping arm remains sluggish when opening and closing, disassemble it to clean and lubricate the individual parts. If the gripper clamp arm is traveling smoothly, lock out and tag out the system to clean and inspect the clamp more closely for step two. Blow off the surrounding sawdust with compressed air. Thoroughly clean the pad on the gripper clamp arm and the fixed fence. Now that you can see everything, look around for obstructions such as caked sawdust or wedges that you may have missed earlier. Inspect the gripper assembly for damage. Step three is to check that the jam nut on the cylinder rod is tied against the clevis and is not backed out. Also check that the pivot points are moving freely and undamaged. Step four, while the saw is still locked out, Follow the air lines from the main regulator on the side of the saw to the gripper clamp, looking for bends or kinks that could limit airflow. If nothing significant shows up, proceed to step 5, checking the air pressure. Remove the lockout tagout mechanisms for this step and power up the saw. The main regulator, located on the side of the saw, should read 110 psi anytime it's on. If there are no physical reasons for the error, the sensor location probably needs to be adjusted. Keep the saw powered up for step six, but continue to take precautions while troubleshooting with a powered machine. The gripper clamp only has one clamp sensor, which indicates when the gripper is unclamped. To adjust it, make sure the saw blade motor is off. Open the detailed diagnostic screen on the HMI. The blue and orange squares on the clamp tab on the bottom half of the screen indicate what the gripper clamp sensor is reading. The gripper clamp sensor is mounted to the gripper cylinder. To access the cylinder from the hinged guard door on the end of the in-feed rail, move the gripper to its maximum position. Unclamp the gripper. A second person can watch the light on the gripper clamp sensor itself. It should light up and stay lit when the gripper is unclamped. Loosen the screw that holds the sensor, then move the sensor back and forth until the light comes on. There is a region or area of the cylinder rod where the light stays on. If the sensor is outside of that region, the light will either go off or not come on at all. Aim for the sensor to be located in the middle or far end of the region where the light stays on. You do not want it at the very front edge of that region. Before closing the hinged guard, check the sensor for tightness. Also make sure the sensor cable is secure and will not catch on anything during movement. Return to the HMI monitor and ensure all personnel are clear of the gripper assembly. Use the clamp button on the status indicators to clamp and unclamp the gripper while confirming that it is working properly. Ensure that all guards and safety devices are in place and personnel are out of the restricted area before operating the saw.